is up YouTube? What's cool? What's cool? It's Hannah. It's time for life. So, welcome to the daily gang gang. As you know, I'm in a weird setup. This is the... I've used so many old devices to try and film this thing because my camera broke. So, but here we are. Here we are. And I am gonna do it this style. We're gonna have a mini watch party. Get your snacks, get your drinks because it's going to be very, very interesting. Also, if you're wondering what's on my sweater it says abolish slavery with each step today is anti-slavery day and i want you to know that there are still 40.3 million people enslaved all around the world in different different in industries so if you think slavery is over that it's done that's a thing of the past that's a thing of decades ago that's a thing of centuries ago think again it's still very very present today and it's important to to really research and know what the signs are and know which industries slavery still exists in and how it manifests itself and yeah how it how it comes to be um also with each step if you don't understand that this was when i was working with idm um international justice mission i walked with them and it was a walk it was like a march uh walk for freedom to you know get a bit of recognition for the fact that slavery is still going on so yeah educate yourself boom daily video gang gang let's get it So, Maela, I think I said her name correctly this time, she wants to see the goats. They're going to a zoo. I did not know the zoos had goats. I thought it was just on the farms and like the kids' farms and stuff like that. I did not know that zoos have goats. I don't know if Chevelle knows that they might not have goats, but she's like, I want to see the goats too. So, anywho. Now, I don't even know if you can see this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you can see it if I do this. Wow. This, this is this this is some this is some hood stuff right here. Let me see if you can see it this way. Ow! What the hell? There we go. Okay, you can see now. So it's like, yeah, he's just chilling, yada yada, about the animal. I really wanted to come to the zoo when I got out. So he wants to go to the zoo too. Wait, I said animal. That's a chimpanzee, isn't it? No, that's an orangutan. 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 That's an orangutan for for those of you. Huh? Is that an orang? Yes, that is an orang. I need to go to the zoo more. Or do I? I don't know. Anyway. I really want to come to the zoo. Hmm. These two people. Listen to this very carefully. When I got out. I want to see the goat too. I really wanted to go to the zoo when I got out. Seems like these people are going to the zoo because they want to go to the zoo. <laughs> that might be the reason. Nothing wrong with that, but it's very interesting. They're so eager. They're both so eager to, to be there. But that's good. It's good for the kid. Makes her excited too. I had my father come take me out to places I wanted to go and spend quality time with me. It that's feels sad. good being out here as a family. It do. You know, doesn't it like make you think about the future? Yeah, of course. I'm glad to be here with y'all. You are? Can't wait. Everybody wants me around. I gotta, I gotta please everybody. All cool and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> they sound like two old couples in love, just laughing about stuff. <laughs> yeah, why well, we talking about the future? But you know, I gotta go to Texas. That look of Chevelle, it could come straight out of a Nigerian movie. Like her her look, she was giving him all the evil eyes in the world because he just brought that up. Why bring that up now? Why not bring that up like in some kind of private moment? Why bring that up when they're in the zoo trying to have a good time? She obviously does not want you to go to Texas. So why are you bringing that up now? It's very suspect. It's very, yeah, the, no, this couple, the lack of communication, actually all of them, the lack of communication thing, you realize that talking, it's just that it's just like that show love is blind right a lot of the a lot of the couples did not make it okay that show that was on netflix a lot of the couples did not make it why because communicating through a wall without seeing your soon to be significant other at the other side of the wall and only having some kind of emotional connection that's not how we humans do things that's just not how we humans do things guess what that's not even how animals do things okay guess what ah 
nobody does that so this communicating through the phone hi baby how are you oh i love you hey your voice is so sweet i love your voice too <laughs> that kind of stuff it works in the prison but it will not work outside of the prison because that's real life you get to see each other you get to see how the person really is you get to see facial expressions really you get to see the person you get to really know the person so yeah no that is not going to work outside of prison these type of communications they they don't work we need physical like being really being with each other kind of thing it's not like some of these people were high school students and then their their dude or their woman goes to jail for years and years or even a decade and they've been together two decades prior so then it's like you already have that kind of you really know each other right even though the person might change one they're in there and the other person might change one they're out they know each other right with this it's not like that so basically it, it, it just shows you this is just showing you that this is no way to get into in so deep as these people are getting because you do not know the person quailon is showing that he has zero communication skills maybe minus zero maybe my, my, minus zero minus three minus three points of communication skills it's really bad make sure everything's in line make sure everybody good before i can you know set up myself out here yeah, you know yeah. i'm coming back though i don't because she does she doesn't feel like he's gonna come back once he's there they don't want him back where she is where is she again whatever they want him in texas and she doesn't want that i don't know that i don't want to be selfish i want you to go see your family but now that you have us in your life it's kind of unfair for you just to up and go like what i'm saying is i need a moment to figure out figure what out figure everything out figure like us out. everything us figure, out, figure us out figure my family figure us out hold on a hold on this guy, hmm, what is there left to figure out? See, D Mark, D Mark is gone. D Mark is gonna come for you. We haven't seen him in a few episodes, but D Mark, I feel like he's always lurking. He's somewhere lurking. He he knows. He knows what's going on. He knows. He knows. You remember when he said that he, Chevelle had bought him a getaway car with that five thousand dollar truck? Yeah, that thing might come in handy now. I mean, how is he getting to the Texas? I don't know how far it is from where they are. Is he flying it? Who's buying that ticket, first of all? Is he going with the truck? Wait, he doesn't have a driver's license. Okay, forget that thought. But still, is he going to sell the truck? Is it in his name already? I don't know. But he's moving kind of fast and kind of weird all of a sudden. Saying that he needs to figure them out is kind of weird after all this time and after all the sacrifices that Chevelle has made and the little girl is involved too. Very strange. And a suspect. We got everything, right? everything, right? When a woman, they always talk about angry black women, whatever. When a woman laughs like this, it is worse than somebody who seems to be angry. Because this laugh right here, that, that is somebody that you do not play with. She She's had it. She has had it. This this is a scary laugh. Like, she sounds happy, but she's not. About to burst loose. <laughs> this, this ain't even up for no debate. I'm going to Texas. That's what it is, so... Look at her face. Look at Chevelle's face. She really looks like somebody that could be in some kind of theater play or it could be in some kind of a music video where the guy just dumped you or something like that or in some kind of movie this is really this gave me movie vibes it really gave me movie vibes because this woman looks broken she looks hurt she looks like wow is this the same person that you know she fell in love with is this the same guy that she she really loved so much and looked forward to meeting i think she waited for him for two years she's really looking like is this real life right now am i hearing this correctly look at her face wow Wow. Now wow. Now wow. Hmm. Well. I have to deal with when I get back when I get back. What do you mean you get back when you get back? What do you mean by that? That's a very weird statement. See, I don't think it's just that he lacks communication skills. I think he lacks people skills, social skills, which is quite strange. Because around the time when... Okay, I was going to say around the time that he was supposed to be developing that. But he was like 17 or something when he went in. He's been in for 12 years. Was he 17? Something like that. By that time, he should be somewhat developed. Not fully, but... Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah. Just... 
oh, it's just like, why would you tell somebody that you really like, like, oh, I'm going to go somewhere and when I, I'll come back when I come back. Like, that sounds like somebody who wants to live their life wild and free and wants to be away from you, away from people and stuff like that. But you've made a commitment to this woman and that little girl and now you're talking about I'll get back when I get back. What is she supposed to do with that information? Does she not work? Does she not need to know when she needs to take a day off to come and pick you up from somewhere? To take you somewhere to make food for you when you come back to whatever, whatever. Like these people are moving as if people don't live real lives and have real schedules and real jobs and things that they need to go do. She's a business owner apparently. But like I said some few uh, videos ago, she's also uh, a rapper. So I heard somewhere. But yeah, she's a, she's a business owner, whatever the business is. But she's got things to do. You can't just hop in and hop out of your life anytime you please. Like that's ridiculous. That's not how you communicate with the person that you with. Uh -uh. And top of that, what about Myla? Mm -hmm. Myla's gonna ask. She's gonna want to know when's he come back, or did he go back to jail, or what's going on? She's attached to you as well. We ain't gonna do this right now. So when are you gonna do it? Why did you bring this up here? When you know that this is this is completely the wrong place to be doing this. Why are you bringing this up here? Why? It's kind of weird. Pretty weird, dude. Okay. Since you want to take a step back, maybe I need to take a step back as well. I hope you mean that, and I hope you will. Because it is not worth it. He's been so standoffish. He's been not talking to you. He's been holding a phone that I'm pretty sure you bought for him. You have a whole truck, 5000 that he could just go, sell, get the money, floss, and show people, and show off. And, and what do you have? Two years, wasted. Kid, confused. You, heartbroken. And see, do whatever you feel like you gotta do. Man. What's all this attitude? What's all this attitude we're getting from Quaylan, huh? I find it really, really bizarre and really, really strange. Like his attitude is punk. And his attitude is really, really, really strange. Do what you gotta do. Hands in the pocket. Nonchalant attitude. Like he really, 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 really doesn't care. He really doesn't care. I don't know if he really loves Chevelle that much. Like she's all these people, Chevelle, Sean. Mm -hmm. don't know why Dylan's with Heather but okay I mean she's dedicated she's loyal she's committed to wait for him for five years so I think that's quite attractive to him but then Sean with Destiny mm -hmm. this guy oh oh no the other way around Destiny with Sean because Sean is giving her all the money mm -hmm. okay we get that one then this one as well Chevelle is giving him loads of things loads and loads of things and money I'm sure I'm sure. Where else is he getting all this stuff from? <clears throat> it's a one-way trip. A it's a one That's another thing. It's a one-way trip. So he didn't buy it. He's not going to do a return. I don't know if he's bought it or not, but he's like, no, it's a one-way trip. So I'll get back when I get back. So basically what he's saying is if he gets comfortable and cushiony enough back home, he's not coming back. Um, I hope you're really walking away. However, you got there, which I'm sure is with your car. Uh, get your kid. Also, oh, where's the kid? I thought the kid was that way. Anywho, get your kid and and really go. Like really, really just go because he has got an attitude. Some people have a stanking attitude and they don't even have the money, the cash, the resources, or the capacity to back it up. They can't even back it up. They're just talking any rubbish, but they can't back it up with anything. They haven't accomplished anything. They don't have anything. Or they accomplished something and they burnt it down to the ground. Yeah, that's very confusing. I, I hope she walks away and never turns back. Because this toiling with your heart and pulling at your heartstrings or whatever that saying is, that it's not worth it. And for what? It's not only you. It's your daughter as well. And yeah, she's going to ask, where's Quaylo? And he's gone. And you can't even really tell her when he's coming back and stuff. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> he don't care. He don't care. Did you see how he looked at her? He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Anyway, daily videos gang gang. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump stop. As a song, turn the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. I mean, who is in the wrong? Who is in the right here? Like, why is he acting that way? Uh, who... <laughs> Is she clever for even staying with him after all this stuff that he's doing, after all this toy? You're just playing with her heart. Playing with her heart. And, um, yeah. Also, uh, hit the like button. Comment.
subscribe. Yeah. And uh, watch that. Big time. What color is that? It's time to what? The Lily Red. I'll see you next one, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos of a year. God bless. Mm -hmm.